Hello everyone and welcome to Mountain Lake Journal. I'm Tom Halleck. This week, with the hot, dry weather we've been having this summer, the forests are bone dry. And that has increased the danger of wildfires. Nearly 200 firefighters have spent much of the past week both in the air and on the ground fighting a wildfire at the Flat Rock State Forest in Altona, New York. A fire that within a day quickly spread to several hundred acres. It's about 328 acres today. Yesterday it was 60 acres, so it certainly has grown over the last 24 hours. Our goal is obviously to contain it. New York State Police and Air National Guard helicopters were brought in, dumping thousands of gallons of water on the fire. The ball field the choppers used all week as a staging area is right behind Carol Lashway's home. So it's a little nerve wracking to see that and especially to turn around and, and see this behind my home. Crew spent several days trying to get a handle on the wildfire with bulldozers and by hand. New York State Forest Ranger David Russell says forest fires can be tough to fight when crews don't have the ability to bring larger equipment into the woods. Actual men and women out there working with hand tools, rakes, shovels, and clearing away vegetation, spraying water onto the fire and digging it up with those hand tools. As crews worked around the clock in the state forest, volunteer Vanessa Thompson was hard at work at the Altona Fire Station, where she was feeding firefighters three meals a day. Millions of times a day we hear thank you. Thank you so much for keeping us fed and hydrated and keeping us going. And my thing is just no thank you for being out there and putting your life at danger and saving our town. Fires like this are common in the Flat Rock State Forest, and Plattsburgh State University ecology professor Mark Lesser says a fire like this actually helps some of the species of trees that grow here. This could be really good news for the jack pine. Yes, because fire, um, jack pine is dependent on fire for its regeneration. The cones of jack pine only open um, in the intense heat of a fire, releasing the seed. By midweek, the DEC said the fire was fully contained and crews were working to get out the final hot spots. It hauled about 550 acres were scorched. 